um, I want first to touch that every child that is taken to school is expected to, have, to be successful in the future, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. But surprisingly, nowadays, you even get a child in Form 4, you ask them, what do you want to become after your exams? They'll go like, I'm still thinking. I still don't know. You know, they have no goals. Majority of them have no goals. There's no need of, like, uh, when a child being taken to school and we all think now the child is okay. Are you getting it? Mm -hmm. Now, in order for a child to be successful, and I hope the, the youth is listening to me, and it's very, it's, 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 it's very important, okay, and very serious. There are three factors that these children have to put in mind. Number one, it is wisdom. Hekima, let me write hekima. Because they need to make correct decisions, okay? Mm -hmm. And this wisdom, wisdom is never taught. No one should lie that wisdom is ever taught. Wisdom is acquired during experiences in life that this child goes through, mm -hmm. okay? And <coughs> also, um, during this acquisition, now you'll find is when a child will now learn how to be right or wrong. And if it is too much for the child to know, they're not, you know, for them to notice they're not, they're, uh, about their experiences that it's not making a change and they're not getting wisdom, teach them how to pray. God will listen. Wisdom also comes from God. You see, mm -hmm. now a child will start making correct decisions. Mm -hmm. This is one of the things that I normally use on my students. Number two, one, uh, the, number, the second factor as to, as to a child being successful is knowledge. That's why we have schools. Mm -hmm. You see, mm -hmm. even our government has, has had uh, about uh, four acts, okay? Since uh, uh, 2019, this year, 2023, Okay, mm -hmm. 2013, 2010. There have been acts made in order to like uh, make education free and compulsory for everybody to be able to acquire it. You see? Mm -hmm. Now, what is this knowledge? Knowledge is learning. You see? And this learning could be on a negative way or in a positive way. Okay? Mm -hmm. So I don't want to dwell so much on the negative side of it. Okay, and through the learning, people should know that there is the formal learning and the non-formal learning. So according to us teachers, when we go to school, what we do is we have the formal learning, which has already been structured by the Ministry of Education. So that's why we have the curriculum. And we have now the syllabus and what teachers hate to make are called the lesson plans, lesson notes and all this, you know. Mm -hmm. But... Um, us using that, that, that legalized t way of teaching, mm -hmm. we are able to bring up the life of a child if the child is serious. Through now the academics, now that's what I've just told you, mm -hmm. through the, 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 the syllabus and everything. That one is the academics, okay? Mm -hmm. That's one way we implement the learning. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then another way which we implement learning, and I'm so grateful that we never had it in the former education method, is, is it is the, the, um, the, the skills on how to handle your life. They're called life skills, mm. okay? Mm. In fact, life, and I like the way they're setting exams nowadays, especially in my subject, English. They are focused on the life skills to know how much a child is prepared when they go out. Mm. Though, it's still <coughs> in the syllabus, but the way they, 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 they form it, the way they like set it, it is setting the life skills, okay? Mm. Now, when, we, when a teacher is serious, I told you with children, if you want them to have a good proper quality education, you have to follow the calling. Not somebody who has come to work because of salary, mm -hmm. okay? So, with the life skills, they give what you call, um, they ex exert in a child um, confidence. Are you getting it? Mm. To face people. Nowadays, we're international, right? Mm -hmm. There's a way you have to have um, a, a personal expression for you to be, to be understood, okay? Now, number one, or now that way that you're going to be understood, number one is that you must be audible. Like me. Unajua mimi neza kuita tokiwa njaya gate. It's like I have a speaker here. Because I have to be understood. 
You get it? Mm -hmm. So we, we have to teach them how to be audible. Number two, we have to teach <coughs> them correct pronunciation. Okay? Mm -hmm. I'm a camber, you won't go cambering everywhere. <laughs> Another one is a luo, they won't go luoing everywhere. Like now I'm a camba. Who, who, uh, uh, if I came to now this station and I came and said, my name is Kilizitina and I will come here so that you can interview me. I mean, you think there are goats which have been brought around, man, eh? and you didn't book for goats. <laughs> are you getting yeah, it? Pronunciation is a problem. Yeah. You get a luo. It is a dissatisfactory, I mean, that some uh, uh, achievements here are not being done objectively and uh, sincerely. Will that keep be understood by a Chinese? <laughs> Christina, you would kill Let's, me today. <laughs> let, me, let me finish off. I'm almost finishing. Number three, okay? Mm -hmm. There must be correct <laughs> grammatical construction. You see, mm -hmm. that's why now we have the 24 English parts that we have to teach this child, okay? There are nouns, verbs, what? You know, a child should know where to pause. It's a, it's a, it's a comma. Are, are you getting yeah. these things? Yeah, so correct grammatical construction. So if you bring in a teacher who, who is not qualified in English, mm -hmm. You have ruined this child totally. Uh -huh. And then the fourth one. Uh -huh. Are you getting tired? Uh, no. Okay, so. We are good. Okay. <laughs> You're a typical teacher. <laughs> it's true, yeah. Now, the last one mm -hmm. is content flow. Mm -hmm. Correct content flow. Even if a woman is giving birth, you don't start from the time the child was walking and then now it came to crawl and then now you give the story it is inside the stomach. Do you do that? It has to be a flow. Even any story, even when you're watching a movie. Okay? Ikikatika katikati, what do you do? Just make that sound when you're at home. You're watching a movie, and ah. then it's ah. and all the electricity goes. What do you do? Ah. Ah. Okay. That's the same thing. This child will bore people if there's no flow of content. You see? Now, once this child has a way that they can <coughs> express themselves to those things that I have told you, okay? You will find that this child, when selling their product in the future, they are not going to have any stage fright, okay? Mm -hmm. These children are not going to like uh, be able like to shy out and give uh, and you know and like and like be be paralyzed or something mm -hmm. when they go for an interview. They'll be better than the interviewers themselves. Because they'll know how to prepare the same, the, themselves before the interview and during the, interview. during the interview, you see? And now they'll start learning how to have personal space. I won't need you when I am meditating on what I should do tomorrow. Are you yeah, getting true, it? True. Yeah. Now, the so third factor. You know, we are still, are you? We, we are, yeah, yeah. We've <laughs> gone to number four. No, no. That one now was finishing the knowledge. First was wisdom, knowledge. Now we are coming to discipline to what everybody one. hates. Because I think our time is almost oh, Okay, fine. Now mm -hmm. with the discipline, what happens <coughs> is, I want to tell them very fast. Eh? With the discipline, what happens is, um, discipline is character. Are you getting it? Yeah. What causes the bad things in discipline? Number one is lack of communication. Children are not getting guidance and counseling from their elders. People who are supposed to be like their parents. Those are the teachers and others. Okay. Number two, there, there are no physical facilities for these children to keep themselves, uh, to keep themselves um, active. Okay. Poverty is another one which is causing what? Uh, indiscipline. Because the child will go and steal. And then lastly, age. In a teenagehood, they'll want to discover more, but in a wrong, in a wrong way. Finally now, just one thing. <laughs> Everybody must know this. Mm -hmm. We all have a heart. Okay? Mm -hmm. Spiritually, it is, it is your feelings. Eh? Mm -hmm. You can either have a heart which is negative or a heart which is positive, which is big. It's golden. I'm not touching on the, on the faulty heart. Mm -hmm. I'm touching on the big heart. What you have, the love, the goodness that you have inside your heart. Mm -hmm. Okay? Anything you have that is good in your heart will come into your mind okay mm -hmm. so what is in your mind now from this good heart now we're on the good part it is what will come out through your mouth mm -hmm. so like the way i'm mouthing around that's the way my heart is 
Okay? Mm -hmm. So when it comes out through your mouth, that one becomes your character. Okay? Mm -hmm. After your character, and you do it for quite some time, it becomes your habit. habit. Now you can talk. <laughs> <laughs> we are being told that time is not in our side. Time is up. But I want to ask you a question that you should answer very shortly. Okay. <laughs> what do you wish that women out there because you're a woman, and a woman who's been in the career successfully for a long time. I mean, you're teaching right now. So what would you want women out there to know as, as a take home today from you? Use that camera. This one. <laughs> that one. Okay. Number one, women, you must have a big heart, a golden heart. You must have passion, love for children, love for people. Okay? Number two, when it comes to the youth, be their friend, be their friend, and they will expose you everything that has been in their life. Then now that's the target, that's where you're going to get them. And then you'll be able to like advise them and they're going to change their lives. Thank Is that you. okay? Yes, that's perfect. Thank you. Thank you so much for your time. Yeah. What three things can you leave the house without now as a girl? One, one, three. What three things can you leave the house without now as a girl? What things? Mm -hmm. Three things? Yeah. As a girl? Yes. Unatoka kwa mlango, nini uwezi toka bila? Wewe. Okay. One thing I can't leave this place uh, yes. without. Uh, uh -huh. Number one is the, the way the, the studio has been decorated. No, no, I'd no. I'm it. not saying here. I'm Where? saying your house. Unatoka unaenda. So what things? The way we mean natoka na simu, lip gloss. Yeah, so what three things can you leave the Tissue house? paper. Uh huh. Because of hygiene. Uh huh. You know, when ladies will go to the toilet, we need it. Uh huh. Two. Yeah, no, you don't want me to go deep. Okay. <laughs> Number two. Two. I can't go without my house keys. Uh huh. Because I love my things in the house. Uh huh. Okay? Three. Three. I can't live without a book. Ah. I love reading. Yes. Amazing. Those are the three main things. On the road, are you a cheater or a tortoise? Do you love speed or you're just like 20 poly poly? Okay, because of my age, uh -huh. my big weight, I'm a tortoise. <laughs> I, <laughs> 20 I, I, poly poly. I, 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 yeah, me when I'm too poly poly, poly poly. Like any, what will come out of here is a lion. Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> That's a yeah. good place to yeah. wrap this conversation. Yeah. You're such a vibe. Thanks. You're such a vibe. Thank when you so someone much. looks at you, make up I didn't think you would talk, and then now you're here. You talk. Yeah, you thank do. you. I thank know you're you. asking yourself who should show me So <laughs> <laughs> I'm grateful. Thank you for coming. Thank we you. appreciate your time. We appreciate what yeah. you're doing as a society. Yeah. Can we they appreciate know where to get to Yes, yeah. yes, yes. That's the last thing. Yeah. I want you to tell us where mm. we can find you. Mm. Uh, where we can find your school. Use the same camera to let them know. Okay. Um, my school where I teach, where I change lives positively to the youth. Um, you can find me at Mbiuni. Mbiuni is a market after Tala, after Tala market, which is very famous. Mbiuni market, you, when you reach to Mbiuni, just say you want the school that belongs to that short brown lady. Everybody knows me. Or you can say Simon Katua. I welcome all children who want to get their lives into shape. I'm a very good person. Thank you so much. My <laughs> number, I hope you're writing down. Zero seven two zero seven three six zero six three. I'm going to repeat again <coughs> zero seven two zero seven three six zero six three. Thank you so much. Such a teacher on all media platforms. You get Mwalimu underscore Christina. God bless you. You are all welcome. Give me a call anytime. <laughs> My phone is never off. Thank you. Mwalimu Christina will <laughs> not kill us in the studio today. <laughs> what? That was, was that strength of a woman really? I don't know. But see, she has such energy. She has 
such enthusiasm and she is very passionate about everything she does. And that is our take home this week on Strength of a Woman. Uh -huh.